this packet tracer we are going to see secure network devices okay this is our addressing table and this is our logical topology so let's see the requirements note to keep this activity brief and easy to manage some security configuration settings have not been made in other cases security best practice have not been followed in this activity you will configure a router and a switch based on a list of requirements okay let's see the instructions step one document the network complete the addressing table with the missing information okay as you can see this addressing table is a small one and the missing information it's just the gateways okay i've already made my excel okay to make uh, the things easier to complete okay let's see we just have to complete the switch one pc laptop and the remote pc so let's see the configurations here okay the gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash zero it's the 192.168.1.1 slash 24 network and the gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash one it's the ip address 192.168 8.2.1 slash 24 okay so it's simple so for the switch one we are going 192.168.1.1 okay better now dot one dot one okay and this is going to be the same for the pc and same for laptop for the remote for the remote pc the default gateway it's dot two okay well let's continue okay rotor configuration requirements prevent ios from attempting to resolve mistyped commands to domain names okay Let's start. Well, let's start our configuration. Enable configure terminal. No IP domain lookup. Next, host names that match the values in the dressing table. Okay. Host name. This is router. RTRA done. Require that newly created passwords be at least 10 characters in length. Okay. This is security password. Security password. Minimum length. 10 characters okay a strong 10 character password for the console line use okay this one let's copy this one for console so line console 0 password let's pass the password don't forget to do the login okay then exit ensure that console and VT sessions close after seven minutes exactly. Okay, let's go again. Line console zero. This is the exact time, the exact timeout, and it refers to minutes. Okay, seven minutes. Is it line VTI? Okay, for all VTI lines and the same command. Okay, done. Now, a strong encrypted 10 character password for the privilege exec mode. For this activity, it is permissible to use the same password as the console line. Okay, let's use the same again. Enable secret. And it's done. Next, a MOTD banner that warns about unauthorized access to the devices. Okay.
authorized access only, for example. Password encryption for all passwords. Okay. Service password encryption. Okay. Now, a username of net admin with encrypted password, log admin. Okay. Let's create username net admin with a secret password of log admin 9 okay net admin secret log admin okay enable ssh okay use security.com as the domain name okay IP domain name security.com now Use a modulus of one zero two four. Okay, let's create the crypto key generate RSA one two zero four and it's done. Okay, let's continue. The VT line should use SSH for incoming connections. Okay. For all VT lines, transport Put SSH. Okay. And then the VT lines should use the username and password that were configured to authenticate logins. Okay. To authenticate logins. Let's log in local. And now the logins will be the user and password that we have already configured. Okay. Now Impede brute force login attempts by using a command that blocks login attempts for 45 seconds if someone fails three attempts within uh, 100 seconds. Okay. Is it login? Okay. Block for and the time it's in seconds. Okay, block for 45 seconds for a number of attempts of three attempts within a hundred seconds. Done. And I think that's all. Okay, let's continue. Now, the switch configuration requirements. Okay, all the new switch ports are administer administratively down. Okay, let's see all the ports that we have. Okay, a lot of ports. No. So we just have fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, 0 slash 10, and the gigabit 0 slash 1 up. Okay, so we can do it in different ways. I will do interface range fast Ethernet 0. I will do from 0 slash 1 to 0 slash 24, I will do shutdown, and now I will do interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, no shutdown, and 0 slash 10, no shutdown. I think it's it's easier, okay? And now we just need to administratively shut down gigabit 0 slash 2. Okay. No shutdown. And now let's 
let's confirm ok up up oh my mistake my mistake sorry That's why you, we should always confirm our configuration. Okay, now I think it's okay. Let's continue. The SW1 default management interface should accept connections over the network. Use information shown in the addressing table. The switch should be reach reachable from remote networks. Okay, so we need to configure the VLAN, okay. Okay, we have our Excel interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.1.264.255.255.255.0 Okay, no shutdown and don't forget to configure the default gateway, okay? 192.168.1.1 Okay. Let's continue. Okay, now use as the password for privilege exec mode, okay? secret Let's put the password configure SSH as was done for the router okay let's do the same okay let's create a domain name security.com okay and then let's create Key. Okay, please define a host name other than switch. Okay, exactly, because I forgot to change to change the name. So let's change to a host name SW1. Okay. And now now I can configure key okay it's created now let's create username net admin the secret password okay doing this step with this password okay now the VT line should only accept connections over SSH line. Let's transport input SSH. Okay. The VT line should only allow the network administrator account to access the switch management interface. Okay, only the administrator. Okay, we only giving permission to the configured user. Okay, and as you can see, we have already get the 100% completion. Okay, but besides that, Hosts on both lands should be able to ping the switch management interface. Okay. Hosts on both lands should be able to ping the switch management interface. Okay, let's try. Okay, for PC1, let's try. I think this is the management interface of the switch. Exactly. Okay.
and it's working. Let's see the laptop. Okay, the laptop is working. Let's see the remote PC. And it's working too. Okay, well, I think that's all. Thank you.